and this magic carpet bag of wonder is an old 2011 MacBook Pro. I was told by the owner that the battery doesn't charge and it struggles to run any programs, so I was asked to see if I could fix it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this computer like new by replacing the battery, adding more RAM, and upgrading to a solid state drive. Upgrading to a solid state drive like this is the best thing you can do to make your computer run better. An SSD will transfer data four to six times faster than an old hard drive, and they're much more durable. In order for me to transfer the data from the old hard drive to the new one, I needed to pick up this SATA 3 adapter by Sabrent. Inside this enclosure are the ports for the SATA 3 cable and power. These ports allow me to plug in my SSD and transfer data through this USB cable. All I need to do is get a hard drive, plug it in, and now it's ready to be used as an external drive. Before I plug in the new hard drive, I'm going to wake up my Mac and go to my system info to make sure I purchase all the right upgrades. To find your system info, click on Apple, then about this Mac. The window that pops up tells me the OS version, as well as the model, which in this case is a late 2011. I can also see that I'm only running 4 gigs of RAM, which is definitely not enough. Under the storage tab I can see their hard disk drive, which is comprised mostly of photos and movies. I'll transfer all this later. Under the memory tab I get more info about my RAM. I have two RAM slots, which total 4 gigs. It's important to first look through your system info, otherwise you might buy parts for a 2012 or 13 model, which may not fit. I have everything I need, so now I can plug in the new hard drive. Once I plug it in, I get an error saying the disk can't be read, so I need to click Initialize. A new window will pop up that shows me my external drive as well as my internal drive. I mentioned earlier I'm going to transfer my data from my old hard drive to my new one, so it's very important that they use the same format. To find the format, click on the old hard drive and note that it says OSX Extended. Once I have that written down, I click on the new hard drive, and then click Erase. Under the drop-down menu, make sure you've selected the right format. So in this case, I'm going to choose OSX Extended Journaled. Under Name, I'm going to label it SSD, so I know which hard drive I'm working with. After that, I click Erase, and it will format my new hard drive. If it asks you if you want to use it as a time machine backup, click Don't Use. You can also check for errors by clicking the Show Details tab. Everything looks good, so I'm going to click Done. And now I have a new hard drive that I can transfer data over from my Mac. Right now the hard drive is in the right format, but it doesn't have any data. So now I'm going to show you how to transfer your data from your old hard drive, and also how to start with a clean OS. To do the next step, we need to restart our computer. As it's restarting, hold Command-R to bring up the Super Happy Fun secret menu. When the new menu pops up, you have the options to restore from a Time Machine backup, reinstall the Mac OS, get help, or copy your data through Disk Utility. If you want to make a copy, select Disk Utility, then hit Continue. The new screen that comes up is similar to the one before, except it now shows a third hard drive, which is the base operating system. Just ignore it for now and click on your new hard drive. Once you have your new one selected, hit Restore, then choose the old hard drive that you want to copy. The final step is to hit Restore again, and when that's complete, close the window and restart your computer. And now you have a copy of your old hard drive. If you don't want to copy any old data, all you do is click Reinstall Mac OS, then on the next screen hit Continue, then select Agree. The last step is to choose the hard drive you want to do the install to, select it, then hit Install. Wait for it to finish after a few minutes and you'll be good to go. I have another video on backing up Mac hard drives, so check that out if you have questions. Now that we're done messing around with the hard drive, let's now install it. First step is to make sure the Mac is unplugged, then flip it over to see the underside. Around the outside of the Mac are multiple screws that I'm going to remove using one of these toolkits. The toolkit I'm using is this one made by Tektong, but I highly recommend getting a bona fide hardware version because they're fantastic and pretty inexpensive. Before you take it apart, flip it over because everything we are replacing is down by the hinge. Now that we've taken the back off, you can see all the components. This is the battery connection, this is the RAM, the motherboard, this is the display cable. Over here is the heatsink fan, these other cables go to your Wi-Fi keyboard and Bluetooth, 
This final cable connects to your hard drive. Now the first thing you always want to do when working with electronics is remove the battery. Next we need to get a tri-1 bit which has three sides to loosen the tri-headed screws. Now we can take out the RAM by pulling on the side levers and it comes right out. For the new RAM I'm going to put in 16 gigs. make sure to put the bottom one in first. To remove the hard drive I need to remove these two screws that are holding it down. Careful when you lift up on the hard drive because it's still going to be attached to the motherboard via that cable. There's four screws on the outside of the hard drive that I need to remove. Now I can take out the new hard drive and add those screws that I just removed. With the hard drive installed, we can now put everything back in the same order that we took it out. Before I went any further, I took a second to brush all the dust off the computer. Make sure to plug the battery in at the very end to avoid short circuiting any components. Quick tip, you can plug in your old hard drive and use it as an external drive. With everything done, we can now screw on the back panel. Now because I've installed new hardware, I need to tell my Mac to look for it before I hit the power button. To do this, I hold down Option, Command, R, and P, which will then reset my NVRAM as I power it on. The first thing I noticed was that the computer booted up incredibly fast. A cold startup used to take over 2 minutes and now it took roughly 20 seconds. I checked my system info and the RAM and solid state drive showed up correctly. If I need more storage I can actually use my old hard drive as an external storage because of the Sabrent adapter. If I plug it in it shows right up and I'm able to start moving files around. To test the new battery, I unplugged the computer, turned up the brightness, and let a video run until it died. The old battery was so bad it would turn off if it was unplugged, but now it ran for over 4 hours before I got bored and stopped the test. I also later made the update to macOS High Sierra with no problems. These simple upgrades we did made the computer like new. Doing these upgrades also helps prevent waste and will save you some money. Again, I'll have all the parts I used linked below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.